Hey guys, what's up? It's like you're back to my Minecraft Survival Games video. Today I'm going to be playing on the map Survival Games 2 on the Hive. I'm not playing on MCSG today because it was very, very laggy. And yeah, so I'm just doing a commentary over this. Um, I'm gonna, this topic is going to be about, um, about like PvP tips and tricks and stuff. So, um... So I'm just basically going to be talking about PvP tri tips, not chips, tips and tricks. Um, yeah, PvP, PvP chips. Any you guys here behind me? What's up? You Rubbing his pill kendama in my feet. I mean, in his feet. Then playing with it. And then, um, okay, so let's get started. So one way to get better at PvP, which a lot of people do use, is their FOV on Quake Pro. That makes it um, less zoomed in, and then you can see all, all the stuff around you and everything. Like it's like it's better for PvP, I guess. But I like using normal mode because I'm better on that for some reason. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's one trick that you could get better at PvP. But um, uh, yeah, that's that's. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying, but that's a, uh, that's one way you could get better at PvP. That's what a lot of people do use as a strategy. And then another thing is that you could use like people call you tryhards if you like use like the flint steel fishing rod and bows like a lot and stuff. Um, and block hitting also, but um, hold on, it's raining in my world that I'm in. Okay, there. Um. But yeah, people call um, you tryhards, and let me just bring my mic up closer. All right, uh, I'm using my webcam mic, so sorry if the audio's not as great. But um, but so yeah, just try, just use flint steels, place them down when you're being chased. So that place it down right when they're gonna run onto the block, so um, so they have no time to like juke it or anything. Uh, when you're running from people, shoot them. Try to like turn around and snipe them if you're far enough. Uh, I would get try to get like two or three in them so they have less damage. Um, also, before you're gonna fight someone, snipe them a couple times with your bow. Um, they'll have less 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 health than you when you combat. Um, but if they're a hacker, they'll beat you most likely. Um, and then another thing that you can use is fishing rod. Is your fishing rod because I bet a lot of you guys didn't know this, but if you um. If you actually hit someone with a fishing rod, it disables their PvP uh, hitting for a second. So you could get one or about one or two extra hits on them. That's why I use a fishing rod when I I'm gonna start PvPing someone. I just hit them with a fishing rod, then they're disabled for a second. And then um yeah, I, I really suggest using a fishing rod also and a flint steel. You know, like if you're if you have um, two iron and a stick, and then you have a diamond and a stick, I would just suggest waiting to get another diamond and making a flint steel, because it really helps. Um, but uh, what else was like? Oh yeah, about block hitting. That's another way that you could get better at PvP, because you know, uh, if you block it, you take in less damage, but you do the same amount of damage to um, to the opponent. And then watch right now as I'm going to kill this very, very bad guy. Watch this. This is just really sad. Watch as I kill this very bad guy. Just wait for it. This is not even, like, fair to this guy. <laughs> he was, like, standing there and I just kill him. Alright. So, um, that's that. Um... Oh my gosh, that that's just hilarious. That's not even funny. Well, it's very funny to me, but not to him. And how long is this video? It's about 15 minutes long. So we could get through a lot of stuff. Um, but... Oh, that was cool. Okay, so... Um, and then, uh, I'm sorry that you could hear the background noises that my dad's making on the computer. And then, um, yeah, so I think he just turned it down. Uh, okay, so by block hitting, you take in less damage, but you do the same amount of damage. It's pretty good uh, to do. I, I use it sometimes when I'm, when you know, I'm fighting a stronger person than me. They have a better weapon or they have better armor. And, uh, hold on. Guys, I might have to be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I had to tell my dad to turn down the computer because it was 
like super super loud um but yeah so blockading is another really good way I use it sometimes when I'm fighting a stronger guy as I said uh, I would suggest for you guys to block it sometimes when you're fighting a stronger guy but just try to just try to PvP like normally um but uh yeah we have about 10 more minutes to go through on this um about that yeah and then what what other stuff should I talk about Oh yeah so um so I know a lot of you guys know about critical hits they do more damage and then so of you guys using uh the normal or faithful resource pack the just the normal like way that minecraft is and watch I the, as I wreck this person too um yeah so if you use the normal a uh, default texture pack that comes with minecraft or if you use uh, faithful you'll see that or I'm not those are the only two ones I know of but I'm not sure about other ones but you know like when you hit something like when you hit someone or like a uh, object or uh, entity mostly entity like mobs and has those like white star things that come out or the like white puffs that means it's a critical hit and then in what a critical hit is um that it does more damage to and hold on my dad doesn't know I told him I was recording um but it does more damage oh my gosh mom oh my gosh oh my gosh stop shush please and then so um and then so it does more damage a critical hit does more damage than usual it does at least half a heart more um but it, if you hit someone while they're jumping like when they're jumping like as you see right now i just got those white stars um like that yeah that's a critical hit and then so i don't know how this guy didn't die but um you want to aim for the legs that's where you get a critical hit every time um if you hit the legs but if you hit like the top of the head while they're like jumping up or going down uh that'll also be a critical but if you hit like in the chest it's not a critical hit um yeah so that just does the normal amount so uh my friend gavin said that if you if they're looking down a little bit that means they're using killer or force field as when you guys call them uh but that's not true at all that's um that's that might be one thing it's mostly when they're looking up when they're doing that means that they're hacking and they're like moving abnormally fast when they're hitting um circling around you also is uh circling around the opponent is also a very good strategy that's what ethan does um that's a very good strategy to get better because you know you're circling around the people they have to move their mouse over then they have to like fix it and move it again so they will get as many hits as you as on them on you as you would on them and then i'm trying to talk louder because i'm trying to talk over my family and then oh my gosh it's so loud here right now Oh my gosh! Uh, uh, hold on, I'll pause it again real fast. So yeah, as I was saying about circling around the players, uh, it's a really good strategy. They get less hits on you, but you get the same amount as you would on them. And I just told them to be quiet. Oh my gosh, They're, they hate me. That's okay. Yeah, I just, thank you. Um, yeah, that's another good way of, um, of pvping and i was saying about the what was it oh yeah the critical hits so aim for the legs that's where you get a critical hit every time so if you want to do a fair battle with someone i would that's when you would just hit in the chest like you want like look up and down oh my freaking shut oh my freaking gosh shut up what does that mean that it blocks that other noise yeah about blocks blocks up the background like if I like if I like get one for my microphone, is it like one of those black things? Yeah. Okay, but oh my gosh, what did I just say? Shut up, please. Oh my gosh. And then hold on, let me pause this again. All right, sorry about that, guys. Again, my mom doesn't even listen to me. She just ignores me whenever I try to tell her something. But all right, let's hope we can get through this. So as I was saying about the critical hits. Try to aim for the legs, not the chest or anything. Um, that's pretty much about the critical hits. What else should I talk about? Um, 
like, oh yeah so organize your inventory like you know like sky does minecraft and like xrp mx13 and major canadian like organize their inventory it's all like like random like crap in their hot bar and like in their inventory um let's put all the necessaries i like like i would suggest putting the sword or fishing rod on number one the fishing rod or sword on number two however it's better for you i'd put the flint steel on nine that's what i use and i would put the bow on three that's what i do and i just fill the rest of with like um if i'm playing on the hive i'll do cobwebs cakes and uh tnts or and if i'm playing on mcsg just cake because there's no cobweb or tnt at least i don't think so um my mom just told my sister to go in the room and be quiet and then of course she's running around in the hallways um but um but on yeah so that's so and then try to empty out like like try to just like empty out like the seeds and saplings because they're useless you don't even need them for anything and i see that a lot of people always keep them in their inventory uh yeah just empty them out and also like if you have a stone sword empty all the wood swords out and the gold swords and all the like stone axes wood axes empty all of that out and if you have like a bunch of cooked food and you're set i would suggest just emptying out your your raw food like your fish your cookies your raw meats because you're set with the cooked food and then also like i would should yeah like uh like i said earlier i would suggest just um using like two diamonds to make a diamond sword instead of two iron to make an iron sword and wait to make a flint steel with the iron uh because diamond swords are better and as i said it would be really good if you had a flint steel and i'm sorry i might have to end this sooner than the video ends and just add some background music because it's just unacceptable what my family's doing to me right now because i they they don't even understand youtube they, they don't even care well my dad does a little bit but my mom well my dad does i guess he wants me to do good and he's willing to get me a credit card to do graphics for people and everything but my mom doesn't care she like she doesn't even encourage me to do it nor does my sister um um and then also so i don't know guys because my mom said if i don't get straight a's i'm not going to be able to play in the week in the weekdays at all um and she said maybe not even upload and then i have i have straight a's in all my classes except this one class i have a b plus and then my mom's gonna be mad at me at that because she is mad at me that i have a b plus and my mom was kind of mad at me that i had an a minus yeah that's like the stuff for my family uh but it sucks because my freaking it, um be my the me plus is my freaking hardest class because my teacher she's so strict and everything and um she has yeah, she just strict and mean sometimes but like um but it's hard and since spanish also it's world culture so we're like learning about rome and everything um but yeah, get, getting back to PvP, um, the organizing inventory. Yeah, so I would just keep the food. I would empty out like all the gold swords and wood swords if you don't need them. Also the like the axes if you already have like a like a sword and like just I would suggest putting it in a fire so no one else would get it. And yeah, because like you don't want other people that are teaming to pick up stone swords and iron swords if you have a diamond sword and use them against you because they have a better chance of winning than having than them having a stone sword um and then oh wait okay i thought that someone just walked it okay um but yeah so i would suggest emptying out all those like the crap stuff in the fire the stuff that you don't need in a fire or in a like a like yeah to set a fire with your flint steel and that's what I do, so other people don't get them, and you have a better chance of winning. Like, see how I got all those criticals right there? Because when I, I jumped up and aimed for his head, so that got me a critical hit. And I'm better in normal FOV than uh, Quick Pro. For some reason, I don't know, but I just am. Because I can click faster, it seems like. I don't know why. But, yeah, so that's pretty much the tips and tricks on how to get better at pvp and you guys tell me down in the comments below which topic i should do next and remember if you did enjoy this commentary and this gameplay to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel let's hope to get a 200 subscribers real soon 
And I will do a uh, sort of a special thing for that. And thank you guys for watching and adios, personas. Hi.